this is Michelle here. Today we're going to be looking at this particular multiple choice question on the inheritance of blood group. This is a pedigree chart question. The reason why I picked this question out is because quite a number of my students actually make mistakes on this question. So I feel like it's going to be useful if we can look at this together again to make sure we don't make the same mistake. All right, so let's get started. So before we start on this question, um, we have to remind ourselves that blood group, human blood group is actually controlled by codominant alleles. Codominant alleles. So there are three main alleles, sorry, there are three alleles that controls blood group, basically the antigen on red blood cell. So we have IA, uppercase A, a dominant allele, IB, which is also uppercase because it's also a dominant allele, and a lowercase i, okay, which is a recessive allele. So also before we approach this question, we have to make sure we, we understand and remember all the genotype of different blood groups. So people with blood group A, there are two possible combinations. One is the homozygous type of uh, blood group A, and there is also a heterozygous version of blood group A. And then we also have blood group B, which is kind of the same thing. We have uppercase, uppercase B, as well as uppercase B and a lowercase i heterozygous type of blood type B. And then we have blood group O, People with blood group O actually inherit both recessive alleles from both parents. So it's lowercase, lowercase I homozygous uh, recessive. And then last but not least is people with blood group AB. If they inherit one A allele and one B allele from each parent, then they would end up having, you know, both type of antigens on their red blood cell and they will be considered as uh, blood group AB, okay? So with that in mind, then we can start reading the question now which could be the blood type of individual one and two. So what can we do right now then? First of all, let's have a look at the pedigree chart. So um, there's the, the father, okay, squares represent male. So the father has blood group A, and then the mother here indicated with like a number one here, it is basically what we need to find out right now, okay, the blood group of the mom. And then they have three sons. So one has blood group A, one has blood group O, and uh, uh, individual two son, we don't know, so we need to find out. So the thing is, um, for questions like this, especially for a multiple choice question, personally, I would say um, the fastest way to do so is trial and error, okay? I'm not saying that you can't do it, you know, the traditional way you try to find out um, the genotype of every individual. And um, it is possible most of the time, but still, for when approaching a multiple choice question, you want to be quick, you want to make sure you circle the answer fast, and so you have enough time to do other questions. So I would strongly suggest you to kind of consider doing trial and error as well, okay? So let's have a look. So you can see that there's a son with blood group O. As we can see that blood group O, there's only one combination, and that's two lowercase i. So let's put that down first. Understanding, um, you know, how inheritance work, each allele has to be inherited from each parent. So one of these I alleles, lowercase I allele, has to be uh, inherited from the, I'm gonna use another color. It has to be inherited from the dad. And then one of these um, lowercase I allele has to be inherited from the mom, which means that the mom um, individual one has to have, at, um, it has to have at least one copy of the recessive allele. And then since like the father here, we already know the phenotype, which is blood group A. And the, this, the dad also needs to have like a lowercase i because that is what's given to their blood group O son. So that's why, and given that, that the father is in blood, with blood group A, that means that there's only one possible combo here. It has to be blood group A. Is it this type? No, because it has to have one lowercase i. So it has to be this heterozygous type of blood group A. So yes, now we found out the father's genotype, even though that's not what um, the question is asking you, but at least we do know the exact genotype of um, this father. How about the mother then? Let's have a look at the option here. Um, if we look at option A, it says individual two 
as our individual one has blood group A. Is it possible to have blood group A here? Yes, it is possible. I mean, if the mom, sorry, if the mom is this type of blood group A, it is possible, right? However, if you also consider individual two, individual two, it says here in this pair of combination here, it says if the mom is, has blood group A, the um, other son here will have blood group AB. Is that possible? Let's just write this down first, okay? Assuming that this is possible, okay? Um, is it possible to actually produce and give rise to a son with blood group AB? No, okay, yes. Maybe the dad will give like one IA allele to individual two, but can the mom actually give another IB allele to individual two? No, impossible. So that's why we can actually rule out that A will not be a possible answer in this situation. So let's move on, okay? Hang this out. So um, for option B here, type individual one has blood group AB. Is it possible? No, definitely not, because we already map out the fact that, you know, individual one has to have at least one recessive allele, okay? AB, this type? impossible okay so that's why it's also not b okay let's have a look can individual one be um blood group o okay so if individual one is blood group o then that means that um the only possible way is this type okay so let's assume that the cross works this way so um i a lowercase i cross with lowercase lowercase i so will they be able to um will they be able to pass on their alleles to give rise to a blood group B for individual two? No. Do you see any IB allele from both of the parents? No. So that's why individual two cannot be a blood group B. So this combo here actually doesn't work, okay? So which means that, yes, by elimination, the answer should be D, but let's look into why, all right? So the thing is, okay, if individual one actually has blood type B, okay, which type of blood type B do you think individual one is? Do you think it's this type or this type? Obviously, it will be the latter one, so the heterozygous one, because as I said many times already, blood um, individual one have to have at least one copy of the lowercase uh, recessive allele. So that's why if individual one is blood group B, as option D stated, it will be this type of blood group B, and can individual two at the same time be blood group A? Yes. Imagine if the father actually passed on this allele to individual two. And then the mom passed on um, this allele to individual two. Yes, it's possible. Okay. So this is how we do an inheritance question on blood group and um, that's shown in a pedigree chart, okay? So if you have any question, please leave it down in the comment section below. And until next time, okay? Um, good luck with your biology revision. Goodbye.